A side hustle business isn't just a way to make a few hundred extra a week, but a way to protect your future and reach that financial independence. By the end of this video, you'll have 10 great side hustle ideas you can pick from to make more money every single day. We're talking side hustle income sources today on Let's Talk Money. Joseph Hogue here on the Let's Talk Money YouTube channel. I want to send a shout out to everyone in the community. Thank you for taking a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click on the little red subscribe button. Now, everyone loves to talk about side hustle ideas and making passive income as a way of making a little extra cash, but there's another very important reason you need to be setting up your own side hustle business. Freelancing or independent work has exploded over the last few years, with more than 60 million Americans already working for hire. Companies are loving the trend because they don't have to pay a lot of the benefits and taxes. So it might not be long before freelancing is the way everyone works. Getting your side business started now is going to make you ready when the shift happens. Even if you're not worried about that coming jobs apocalypse, starting a side hustle idea is a great way to reach that financial freedom, a way you can make a little extra cash to reach your dreams faster and not have to live paycheck to paycheck. Now, the most common question I get about starting freelancing is where to start, how to find that perfect side hustle strategy you can use to turn five hours a week into a few hundred dollars. So I've taken all the income sources I know and narrowed them down to my favorite 10. I've used six of these side hustle ideas and make money every month from at least four. In fact, I made over $7,200 in March with $600 in one single day. Your monthly income is going to fluctuate a little, but put together a few of these ideas and you'll produce a solid income you can count on. Now, I don't want you to expect something called side hustle to be easy. You will have to hustle on some of these ideas, but the income grows over time and some can become passive income in less than a few months. I've built my online income to over two grand a month in a year and was making over 6,000 a month within three years. Now, I tried to keep out all the traditional jobs from the list, all the side jobs you see on Craigslist. Everyone knows you can make money cleaning someone's house, but do you really want to be getting pruny fingers for 10 hours a week? For this list of side hustle ideas, I kept it to the income sources you might not have thought of, the ones that have worked for me and the ones that work the fastest. Now, I'll include how to get started and how much you can expect to make with each side income strategy. I'm also going to reveal three secrets to side hustle success, three critical keys to making money at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. So our first side hustle idea is one of the easiest, but one that most people don't think of because it sounds so official. Whenever someone signs a contract, they need a notary to witness and sign the document. Becoming a notary takes almost no time and you can make around $100 each time you witness a contract signing, which takes less than half an hour. Now requirements are going to differ by state, but for most you take an online course that's all of a few hours long and pay a registration fee. You also need a special type of insurance through a bonding agency, but the best part is that most of these agencies are going to get you set up with your state application and all your fees, usually for less than $100. Once you're a notary, real estate agents and other companies are going to ask you to come out to witness their signings. You can easily do three to five a week as a side hustle and make over $100 a pop. Our next side hustle hack is a great one to get into real estate investing without any money or at least a smaller budget. I've been investing in property since getting out of the Marine Corps and I love it as a long-term wealth generator, but this strategy also makes it a great side income. We're talking about wholesaling real estate here and this is like acting as a middleman to buyers and sellers. You find properties priced below what you think they're worth and contract with the seller to buy the house within a month or so. Now you then set out to find someone that will buy the house from you at the same time but for a higher price. So no money or maybe just a few thousand in earnest money has been exchanged when you sign the contract with the seller. The earnest money from your buyer more than offsets this so you don't really need a big, big bankroll to get started here. You set up the closings to happen at the same time so you might only actually own the property for all of five minutes before signing it over to your buyer. Now I recently interviewed Sharon Vornholt for a future video that says she makes between 5,000 and 10,000 a property and you can do several of these a month. I would recommend getting familiar with real estate investing, maybe through a few flips or rentals first, but this is going to give you the experience you need to spot great deals that you can instantly resell. That wholesaling side hustle idea is big time, but this next one you can set up and get started in a day, teaching English online. I did a test run of a few sites and was assigned to students and making money in less than a week. 
It helps to get a little training first, but any native English speaker can learn how to teach in less than a day. And there's a huge demand for this right now. You can teach independently through Facebook or Skype, getting students through a blog or marketing, or you can just sign up to one of the dozens of sites like Preply, Verbling, and Tutor.com. All of these sites are legit and will give you as many hours as you want. For a 30 minute session, you'll make between $15 and $50 and most students are going to need three to five hours a week. So you really don't need a lot of students to have a very respectable income. Those three keys to side hustle success I'll share at the end of this video are really going to help with this next idea. Help you make money and avoid some of the biggest mistakes. So stay tuned for those. So now we have affiliate marketing and this one is going to work best if you already have a blog or another online traffic source, but you can still do it if you just have your social media accounts as well. In affiliate marketing, you sign up on networks like CJ Affiliates or Flex Offers. These are sites that connect companies with bloggers, YouTubers, and other publishers. You sign up for a company's affiliate program and get a link to their product. You can put that link in a blog post, in a Facebook or a Twitter post, just about anywhere someone might need that product will find it. If someone clicks on that link and then makes a purchase, you get a commission on that sale. Now there are some keys to remember with affiliate marketing to be successful. You only want to promote products that you use and that work really well. Pitching crap products just to make a buck is going to alienate your readers and your friends. I use affiliate marketing as an income source and average around $3,000 a month through my blogs. Just like a lot of these income sources, it's going to vary from month to month, but it takes a little time and really adds up when combined with a few other side hustles. Our next side hustle is something I love doing, but as a hobby more than for steady income. We'll call this one flea market flipping, but it's really any reselling strategy, buying at consignment, secondhand or wherever to resell on Craigslist or eBay. I interviewed Rob and Melissa of the flea market flipper channel here on YouTube about their full time flipping strategy that supports their family. You might want to start with a specific product type like toys or types of electronics or just any niche where you can get to know prices so you know immediately what's a good deal when you see it. You can also use apps or the eBay site directly to find out how much you can get in a resale. The best strategy seems to be finding like new stuff locally at flea markets and thrift stores and then reselling at that national level on eBay. Because you have that bigger market in which to sell, you can find people willing to pay more for your finds. Now, I like doing this just as a fun weekend activity with the family rather than a full blown side hustle business. We'll go out on a Sunday to flea markets and some other places on our list just looking around and spending time together. I can, I can usually find one or two things in a couple of hours to resell online. Now this next side hustle idea is still an interesting one even as some of the rideshare companies run into problems in some cities, but you can make over 20 bucks an hour with apps like Uber and Lyft. What I like about working rideshare is that it's so easy to do in your spare time. The apps work so that you can turn on or off your service at any time and they'll match you with fares. Rideshare site RideGuru looked at how much drivers made on a typical five minute drive between the initial charge, metered fare and service charges. It came out to between $19.89 on Uber to as high as $26 an hour on sitback and $36 an hour driving a traditional cab. Here you'll really want to follow some of those side hustle business rules I'll go through later, like really treating it like a business and getting the deductions on your taxes. One of the biggest complaints about rideshare driving is the wear and tear on your car, but you can still make very good money if you plan around things like this. The next side hustle business is a twofer, blogging and YouTube. I do both of these and make the majority of my income from them. These are going to be great marketing for any of the other side hustle ideas, but work well on their own as well. You can sign up for a Google AdSense account and put ad boxes on your blog, or this is pretty much automatic on YouTube once you get to a thousand subscribers. I make about a penny per view through both on the blogs and the YouTube channel, which doesn't sound like much, but can really be a solid source of income. I get just under 70,000 visitors to the blog each month and about 117,000 YouTube video views. So that's almost 1900 a month, not including all the free marketing I need for products and other business ideas. That traffic doesn't happen overnight, but you can easily be reaching tens of thousands of visitors within a year. Beyond the money you make on advertising, you can also start getting sponsorship deals to talk about a company's products. Now, I get over 500 a video to mention someone's products here on YouTube, and I know others that charge in the thousands of dollars for a sponsorship deal. I've got a whole playlist on blogging here on the YouTube channel, so be sure to click subscribe and check that out. One income source I'm just starting to develop is through online courses. Now this is really the next evolution in your online income because you move from making money off other people's products to making money on your own. 
Of course, the payout on your own courses is much higher. I see other bloggers making between three hundred fifty to fifteen hundred every month on courses. And if you don't think you have anything to teach, think again. I mean, look at some of these Udemy courses from creators. Rubik's Cube, simple and easy. What to text a girl you like, and that one's a bestseller. Amazing. Creating a course is easy through sites like Teachable and Thinkrific, and you can basically repurpose a lot of the material from your blog. Believe me, talking about anything for a year and you're going to become an expert and find out what people are looking for in that topic. That's going to give you your business idea. Then you research other courses to see what other creators are saying and what you can add. For a typical 10 hour video course, expect to spend about 40 to 60 hours creating it, but then making money every month for years. Making just 500 a month on the courses over three years is 18 grand and hundreds an hour on, on the time that you took to create it. This next side hustle idea is my favorite, self-publishing. This is basically the same as the online course we just talked about, but a lot faster and easier. In fact, if you create an online course, you can take the transcript and use it as a book to do double duty on your income. Now the same ideas apply here, except you don't need video skills. I published 10 books in just over two years through January 2017 and make just under 2000 a month on them. I spend about 200 a month marketing the books on Amazon, but that's absolutely it. The best part about self-publishing is that it's almost completely passive income after you've launched the book. It's super easy developing your book idea. Start with a transformation, something readers want or need, and then work back through the steps they need to get there. Each of these steps is a chapter in your book, and you can publish each as a blog post. Now this is not only going to help you stay on schedule to finish your book, but each of these blog posts is going to become easy marketing sources when the book is done. You just go back through and link your Amazon book page into each post. After you're done, just format your book for publishing and get it on any of a dozen sites like Amazon, CreateSpace, or Smashwords. You can easily do two or three books a year in your spare time, and that means upwards of 600 a month as a side income. Our 10th side hustle idea before we get to those three success secrets is actually one I thought I was making up, but there's already a huge market for it. On sites like rentafriend.com, you can actually sign up to be a virtual or in-person friend to someone. It may sound weird, but it's really no different than some of these other coaching or tutoring ideas that have worked for years. You're basically just lending an ear and offering advice to someone for an hourly fee. Now, like that online tutoring idea, you can go independent on this one or just join a site that's going to match you with other people. The sites have some how-to content and rules, so it might be easiest to start there to get a feel for it before going freelance. Either way, you'll make between $15 and $50 an hour and get to set your own hours. Now that you have a solid list of side hustle ideas to work with, I've got three keys to making any of them a success. Odds are you won't want to try all of the income sources, or even that they'll all work for you, but these three strategies are going to help you make more money whichever you choose. First is that you have to treat it like a business. You can do any of these ideas within just a few hours a week, but you still have to treat it like a business. That means learning how the business works and the different roles you have to play in each. For example, you're not just writing books to publish. You need to be a marketer and a manager and an accountant too. These aren't just side income ideas. They're businesses that are going to create assets you can own and make money off for years. Now I've got separate videos and blog posts for a lot of these to learn more about the details. So I'll leave links to those in the video description below. Learning what works in each of these income ideas, treating it like a business will put you way ahead of all the amateurs out there and you will make more money. Second here is to get all the tax benefits you can. This is a big part of owning your own business and a lot of the return. Small businesses might not make a lot of money month to month, but taking advantage of some of these small business benefits is going to protect your full-time income and really make a difference. First in this is to track your spending on everything. You can deduct from your income any spending related to your side business, and that means you can protect some of your regular income from taxes as well. Even some of the money you spend on utilities and property taxes can reduce your income taxes. You'll also want to take advantage of a self-employed IRA plan. That's called a SET plan. This is a special type of re retirement investing account in which you can put your side hustle income and not have to pay income taxes on it until you retire. The contribution limit on this one is way above the limit you can contribute to other accounts like a 401k or a regular IRA. So it can be a great resource to avoid a lot of those taxes. The last key to side hustle success is just to stick with it in consistency. Now that might not sound like a secret, but you'd be surprised how many people start and stop their side hustles within a month 
or that just flip from one income stream to another without really developing anything. Your monthly income isn't going to explode higher immediately from any of these sources, but give it six months and you'll produce an income stream with cash flows every single month. Combine three or four of these with just five hours a week and you can easily be making three or four thousand a month within a year. That's a full-time income on just part-time work. Few of these side hustle ideas is going to make you rich, but put a few together and you'll create your own businesses, your own assets that will make you money every single month. That monthly income may jump around a little bit. The day I made 600 was followed by a few days of making only a few hundred each, but it averages out to an amazing income. Pick and choose which income sources you like. Take the time to learn a little in each and you'll have a thriving side hustle business in no time. Join us in the Let's Talk Money community by clicking on that subscribe button. We're here Mondays and Wednesdays with the best videos on beating debt, making more money, and just making your money work for you. So if you've got a question about money or investing, scroll down and leave it in the comments and we'll make sure to answer it in a future video.